Hello, this is the Jurassic Expert here back. Oh my god, right when I thought I was done making this video, they announced more! <laughs> okay, so today is the um, first day of Toy Fair. Yesterday was the pre-show. Today, as of filming this, is the uh, first day of Toy Fair been revealed a lot so i'll probably be putting clips from collect jurassic's video uh and that's where i got a lot of these screen screenshots as well uh but we get a good look at a new velociraptor that kind of has a metallic sheen to it so that's interesting and we get a look at another velociraptor with uh, the jumping raptor sculpt but with new colorings, I don't know if these are going to be based off of the Camp Cretaceous, Cretaceous show and or not. We get another look at Bumpy, a look at the Red Minmi, the Sauropelta, and the Colovosaurus. The uh, Colovosaurus has come been out for the past couple of months. The Sauropelta has been out for the past month or so in canada uh not here in the u.s yet and then we get a new look at the a new figure technically the dilophosaurus we're getting a new dilophosaurus sculpt and from what i've seen in the videos it looks like you push the tail down the frill opens up and the mouth opens, which I think is pretty cool. It has the classic Jurassic Park colorings right there. Definitely a cool figure, and I really like that pose. That is a pretty cool pose. And right behind it, we get another dinosaur. Some people have been saying this is the Aluramus. Uh, it might be. It might be. I think it is actually the Aluramus okay and yeah this is the aluramus right behind the dilophosaurus looking really cool uh very similar to the colorings that they were teasing back at san diego comic-con in the fall last year and yeah i think it looks really cool they got the two fingers and all i don't know if the image that i put up you could actually see that or if the dilophosaurus is blocking it the way or not and in that same photo we can also see that we are getting a repaint of the stygy Malik. at first i didn't think it was a repaint i thought it was a repack but then i looked closer it actually has purple highlight so that makes it a repaint so i wonder if this will be a different stitch so this must be a different stygy Malik in the film they're probably going to have multiples in in the film in the series uh, assuming that the, these are mainly from the series, uh, most of these repaints and all. And right behind that Stygimolic and the Velociraptor, we have a repaint of the Styracosaurus. I don't think this is going to show up in the show. I think this is Mattel trying to get a quick fuck. But it is a repaint nonetheless. Same kind of base coat. It might have a lighter plastic, but it could also just be the lighting that they have in the picture. Um, but yeah, it does have different paint on it, different patterns and all. So yeah, that, that's pretty interesting that we are getting another Styracosaurus. I'm noticing with some of these repaints, they kind of look really similar except for a small uh, hint of detail. So I wonder what's up with that but uh, it could be just mattel trying to make a quick buck or these could be figures from the series but with the styracosaurus i doubt it and a really exciting reveal is the scudosaurus i was right with my reveal video <laughs> it was scudosaurus i will say i'm not too sure how i feel about the spikes coming out from its uh face i mean i, I don't think scudosaurus had that like spikes that aggressively large but hey like henry Wu said nothing in jurassic world is natural i don't think this guy's going to be or gal is going to be in camp cretaceous just because um it's not a dinosaur didn't live alongside the dinosaurs so yeah i highly doubt that this guy this will 
the Scutosaurus will show up in Camp Cretaceous, but the sculpt, I love this sculpt. It looks real beefy, like the Scutosaurus should be. It looks like it'll have a decent amount of articulation. Uh, the red, I like. The blue, mm, not too, not too bothered with, but you know what? It makes it look cool. It still looks cool. I will definitely pick up this figure when it comes out. And yeah, we also have a look at the Sinoceratops. We're getting the Sinoceratops. I was right again with another Celeste. So most of them I got right. See what I got right and what I didn't get right. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty sure I got quite a few of the ones that I could actually name. Um, the ones that I could see clearly. I mean, some people were able to figure out some of the ones that were really deep in the different silhouettes. And I was like, <laughs> I, I didn't know how they got that. But yeah, I am really happy with these Sinoceratops. I think it looks really cool. I will say that the horn does look a little bit too long. But I, I, I think Mattel might shave that down because I bet some uh, children's health uh, thing, the, the, the same reason why we don't have that, uh, the Lost World, Jurassic Park, the Lost World Triceratops prototype figure was because the, its horns were too long and too sharp. So I wonder if they're actually going to shave down the horn uh to the correct size but you know what i still think it looks pretty freaking cool either way the sculpt looks just almost just like it does in fallen kingdom they got the holes in the frill it will be another one of the um roaring figures so yeah that that just looks really cool there I gotta say, for today, I don't think anything should be revealed tomorrow. As of recording this, I am going to have a crud ton of editing to do. So this video is probably not going to come out maybe till Monday, Tuesday-ish. Maybe even later than that. Hopefully not. I really want to get this video out as soon as possible. I am really happy with the reveals. Uh, so far, no reveals from LEGO. I do have one image. I'm not sure if this is real or fake. It looks legit, but again, I'm not 100% sure. There was this leak of a baby Triceratops minifigure uh, there. Um, I mean, it looks pretty legit. And there was something about uh, for leaks of the details for the summer 2020 Jurassic World sets where it did say it, one of them would come with a baby Triceratops, so I wouldn't be surprised if this was the actual one. So maybe tomorrow we will see some uh, Jurassic World LEGO set reveals, and to the overall reveals, I am really happy. 2020 is starting off, Mattel for 2020 is starting off, the new uh year with a bang um so i can only imagine how much effort they'll put in for jurassic world 3 uh one thing i will say with the figure reveals so far there has been no human figures which is a little bit concerning and i have seen some people um mention this and how mattel doesn't care for this reason like Mattel doesn't care about the fans, but to be fair, after watching the Jurassic Park podcast video, I highly recommend checking that out. It gives us a really good insight. I think it's really easy to, to hate on people when there's no face to put with the company. But after seeing that, I can tell, like, they are hardworking people. They know their stuff. They are, like, quite in tune with the fandom. But I think, like, the problem is they can't do everything the fans want to do. I, I think that's it. It's just they can't do everything the fans want to do. It sucks, yeah, I know. But I gotta say, a lot of these reveals that we've been given so far look really cool. We're getting a lot of details for Camp Cretaceous. And I think I figured out why I might do to watch the video legal, watch that series legally. 
Um, so yeah, I cannot wait to see how these characters come into play with that series. And yeah. So as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I put up new videos like this one. And, as always, dinosaurs might be older than you, but you are never too old for dinosaurs. Bye-bye.